How much time does AVL save? Does AVL provide a good return on investment? And how exactly does AVL help? Deccan International, the industry leader in fire and EMS deployment analysis for more than 20 years, can provide the answers to these questions and more with Array Simulator, a novel simulation tool. That's apparatus response and incident simulator. Before we get into what Array Simulator is capable of, Let's first discuss what ABL based dispatch is and how it differs from what quite a few fire and EMS departments currently use, station-based dispatch. In station-based dispatch, a unit status remains unavailable when traveling back to the station from an incident. So, if another incident call comes in while that unit is traveling back to the station, a unit that is actually further from the incident may be selected to go on that call. In AVL-based dispatch, the current locations of units are obtained every time a new incident comes in. If a unit traveling back to the station is within a given time target, that unit tends to the incident. With AVL-based dispatch, we expect the response times to decrease as units closer to incidents are dispatched, which is exactly what we see in the model scene here. But surprisingly, there is only a very small difference between the two dispatch policies, two to three seconds for both the average and 90th percentile scores. On further investigation, we hypothesized that the surprisingly small difference could be because of the low number of incidents for this example client. To test our hypothesis, we doubled the number of incidents. As expected, we saw a greater difference between the scores of station-based and AVL-based dispatch. As seen here, AVL saves 8 seconds on an average and 4 seconds on the 90th percentile scores. These results motivated us to further increase the number of incidents. Here we see that the difference between station-based and AVL-based dispatch grows with increasing number of incidents, to the point where it is about 35 seconds for the average scores and 30 seconds for the 90th percentile scores for close to 55,500 incidents or seven times the actual number of incidents. From this, we can determine that ABL-based dispatch provides a significant saving when there are a high number of incidents. But does this mean that these results are applicable for any region with around 55,500 incidents? No, as the time saved by ABL is also a function of unit availability and the spatial distribution of incidents among other factors. We have established that AVL-based dispatch results in significantly better response times in a service area with a high number of incidents compared to the number of units. But why is AVL-based dispatch better? Is it indeed because the units are now closer to a call, as one would suspect? To find the answer to this question, we segmented our response times into travel and turnout times. As we are dispatching units that are closer to the incident, we expect the travel times to account for a significant portion of the difference we see in the average response times between station-based and ABL-based dispatch. Surprisingly, we notice that most of the saving comes from lower turnout times rather than travel times, as seen here. This is because, after a unit has received a notification for dispatch, it takes longer to physically move when it is at a station compared to when it is traveling back to a station. AVL-based dispatch is only one of the complex dispatch policies that can be modeled by ARI Simulator. So what is ARI Simulator? ARI Simulator is a simulation model that replicates the complex processes followed by fire and emergency medical services. It can be thought of 
as a digital lab of our own where we can conduct different experiments and figure out how much of a difference they make to the system. ARI Simulator can be used by fire and EMS departments as well as communication centers or CAD vendors all over the world. For example, fire and EMS departments can use the application to estimate the impact of complex dispatch policies before implementing them in reality, while CAD vendors or their customers can use it to determine the sensitivity of the system to new response plans before going live. ARI Simulator is currently available on a consulting basis, while the standalone product is expected to be available in early 2017. Stay tuned for more analysis and discussion on how ARI Simulator and other applications of Deccan International can help the public safety industry.